welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today I'm bringing to you a quick and easy Dollar Tree DIY and I tell you just about everything you need for this DIY you can get at the Dollar Tree and this is such a fun DIY. There is no painting involved and that equals a quick and easy DIY and the outcome of this is so stinking adorable you're gonna love this. I would say that this DIY has a bit of a farmhouse feel but also could go along with that beach feel as well. I was saying farmhouse, Kayla was saying beach, Jeff was saying river. You'll have to wait and see why we all had differences of opinions. You let me know what way you think that this went. I like the outcome, I hope you do too, so let's not waste any more time. So let's jump into it and let me show you just how quick and easy this Dollar Tree DIY is. From the Dollar Tree, I picked up three of these flat black eight by 10 frames, a bag of stones, one of these wall decal stickers and I'll also be using one 12 by 12 piece of scrapbooking paper that I got from Michaels. Their open stock of scrapbooking paper is always 50% off and I paid about 25 cents for this sheet. I'm going to start off by taking the three 8 by 10 frames. These frames I chose because they have flat surfaces on the top. On this first frame, I'm gonna remove the backing and the insert to this frame, leaving the glass. And on this frame, I'm gonna remove all of the prongs that are used to hold the glass and the cardboard into the frame. And I'm just doing this using a needle nose plier. Once I've got all the prongs removed, I'm gonna take and place just a dot of hot glue in each of the corners of this frame to hold the glass in. For this second frame, I'm going to remove the cardboard insert, the glass, and the prongs. I'm going to set aside the cardboard insert because I'll be using it a bit later. For this last frame, I'm just going to open up the frame. I'm going to set the cardboard insert aside with the other one. I'm going to leave the prongs in this frame, and I am going to discard the glass because we don't need the glass. To glue these frames together, I'll be using Aileen's Tacky Glue. I don't much like using hot glue to glue frames together because it tends to be too thick and it leaves kind of a gap in between the frames. I really want these frames flush together, so that's why I'm using the Aileen's glue. I'm gonna place just a strip of glue along the back side of my first frame that I glued the glass into. The frame that I'll be placing on top of this one is the frame that I removed the prongs out of and doesn't have any glass. Then again, I'm gonna place some glue on the outside edge of the back of this frame. And I'll be placing my last frame that still has the prongs in it on top. I'm gonna use a damp paper towel to wipe up any of that excess glue that might have come out from in between each of the frames. Now taking my wood scrapbooking paper that I got from Michaels, I'm going to flip it over and on the back side of this I'm going to take my cardboard insert from the frame and I'm going to trace it. Then I'm simply just going to cut out where I traced. Using some hot glue, I'm gonna place some hot glue on this cardboard insert and I'm gonna glue my scrapbooking paper to the front of this insert. So this is what you should be left with. Before I complete this project and put it fully together, I'm gonna take my Windex and clean off the inside of the glass real good because I probably got a ton of fingerprints on it and I want it to get good and clean because once this is put together, I'm not gonna be able to clean the inside of this glass. Once I've got the inside and the outside of my glass good and fingerprint free, I'm gonna place my wall decals from the Dollar Tree on the front of this frame on the glass. Dollar Tree has an amazing selection of wall decals. There really is a decal for everybody.
then taking my bag of rocks, I'm gonna flip over my frame and on the inside of the frame, I'm gently gonna place these rocks on the inside. I'm gonna replace my cardboard insert with my wood scrapbooking paper on it face down. And before I push down those prongs, I'm gonna add a second layer of the cardboard insert to the back of this just to make it a bit sturdier and thicker. This is one of those decor pieces that I like to add to a shelf or an entertainment center because I think it just gives it a bit of depth, maybe some more dimension, and it just kind of adds a little something to the shelf or the entertainment center that it's on, and it's a fun piece, it's an inexpensive piece, the best part is it was quick and easy. I hope you all enjoyed today's Dollar Tree DIY. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 3,000 likes because those thumbs up, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget.